Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare Trust Wallet with Crypto.com. Many people are preaching that the Trust Wallet is the best thing that you can get as a wallet that you should definitely use because it's the biggest. But biggest doesn't mean best. That's the most important thing from this video is that when someone is like really big, you shouldn't be like, oh my god, I need to use it. And now let me explain you some reasons that I see, I have, I read about Trust Wallet and I tried it. Uh, the biggest advantage crypto.com has over trust wallet that you can actually buy crypto on with the trust wallet maybe you will get to the problem that you won't be able to buy crypto the fees are extremely high and how trust wallet works is that they don't really offer um, that you are going to actually buy crypto like with the crypto.com that you see the fees which are really low how does it work is that it's going to uh, point you to the third party side i even <clears throat> read it somewhere here let me show you crypto purchase fees you type the amount of bitcoin you want to buy at this point i will choose a suitable third party provider for the transaction so they have fees it's not like it's free but they are going to use the third party provider for the transaction because yes i really believe it. like it works like that maybe someone will say oh my god it's not working like that but directly in the app it will point you to the third party which they take fees because yes the app is completely for free they write it in articles for blog but this is true that's the question right and now fiat crypto on ram simplex fees range between 2.5 or 5 percent transaction value so you see it right here if they're going to use simplex then they're going to have fees because you're using the third party provider so that's like really interesting. We're going to go even further. Now, it's closed source, not peer reviewed, nor reproductible, large attack surface created by an untrustworthy company that tries to trick you into selling your Bitcoin for a scam coupon and missing many features. Now you can say, oh my God, this is just a Reddit comment, but do your own research about it. Like you see it right here that it public source well, but this app cannot be verified. This verdict means that we cannot find any source to compile the app from. So, like, you don't know. You're going to send your coins and you don't know if it's all right, if it's worth it, if you should use it or no. So you see it right here. They decided to close their Android app source code and provide an explanation. As of today, we decided to move Transwallet app from Android into closed source development. It has come to our attention that some dishonest developers have been cloning Transwallet and either scamming users. Okay, so that's something you should definitely keep in mind. Maybe you can like invest trust it. And then if you want, just go and read reviews here. So plenty of error messages. The customer support is non-existent and I'm not paid by crypto.com. Crypto.com got also non-existent customer support. Like most of the exchanges got no existent uh, customer support. So when I go here, crypto.com, and I go Google Play. They also have really bad, like right here, three point two. But, but really important to say, I think I like their Crypto.com, uh, their trade. Let me show you. When I'm here, I go to markets and I can easily buy crypto. Really easy, really simple. What you can do also with Crypto.com, you can stake and earn more crypto and interest so their fees are also extremely low and my recommendation that if you want to actually buy crypto buy it from crypto.com or binance they have a lot of fees so like both got really good fees and then what you want to do is actually get it to your own wallet like because you just don't know what trust wallet is going to do with your funds that's something you should definitely definitely keep in mind or just keep it on on crypto.com or binance but um, I would do it only if you're gonna have like not a lot of money on it. If you're gonna have like a lot of money, then you have your own wallet. That's my recommendation. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. If you're gonna have any questions, ask me down in the comments. And have a great day and goodbye. See ya.